Hey everybody, it's Joel Irway with DailyFEExamPrep.com, and in today's lesson, we are going to be discussing part two of the algebra of complex numbers, and we are going to be specifically talking about addition and subtraction of complex numbers. So let's get started. So the goal of today's lesson is, uh, after this lesson, students or engineers will be able to add and subtract two complex numbers. And the overview of the structure of today's lesson, first we'll talk about how to add complex numbers in rectangular form. We'll talk about how to add, how to subtract complex numbers in rectangular form, and identifying the use of rectangular form for complex numbers in, for complex number addition. Uh, we'll work through one example and you'll have additional sample problems to be provided to you in separate videos. Now the addition of complex numbers goes like this. Uh, for the formula we're gonna let z1 equal a1 plus jb1 and z2 equal a2 plus jb2 be two complex numbers in rectangular form. By complex number addition we get z1 plus z2 is equal to a1 plus JB1 plus A2 plus JB2. And that's equal to A1 plus A2 plus J times B1 plus B2, the imaginary side of the equation. Now A1 plus A2 plus J times B1 plus B2 is also a complex number whose real part is A1 plus A2 and the imaginary part is B1 plus B2. Now complex numbers add up like vectors, so real part goes to real part and imaginary part goes to the imaginary part. Therefore, the vector laws of addition, like the triangle law and parallelogram, applies to complex numbers too. So plotting on a real and imaginary axis for complex number addition will look something like this. So in the middle we have z1 plus z plus, excuse me, z1 plus z2 is equal to our a1 plus a2 plus j times b2 plus b1, and we have z2 and z1 also plotted on there. So that's what it looks like when we plot these on the real and imaginary axis. Now subtracting complex numbers is very similar. So for for subtraction of two complex numbers, z1 and z2, we get z1 minus z2 is equal to a1 plus jb1 minus a2 plus jb2. And that's equal to a2 minus a1 plus j times b2 minus b1. So the subtraction of two complex numbers can be viewed as addition of two complex numbers z2 and minus z1, where minus z1 is equal to minus a1 plus j times minus b1. So if we plot this on a real and imaginary axis for complex number addition, it looks like this. So here we have it, we have our z2 minus z1, we also have z2 and z1, and we've also plotted minus z1, just to show you kind of what it looks like. So this is what it would look like if we plotted this on a real and imaginary axis. So when do we use the rectangular form? Well, addition and subtraction of two complex numbers should always be performed in rectangular coordinates. It's just much easier. If two complex numbers are given in polar form, then they must be converted into rectangular form and added or subtracted. So let's go through an example. So let's subtract minus two minus three j from minus four plus j. So here we go, we're gonna define our z, our z values, and uh, z1 is equal to a1 plus jb1, and z2 is equal to a2 plus jb2. So by the formula for subtraction, which is shown on page 19 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, uh, version 9.2, we have z1 minus z2 is equal to a2 minus a1 plus j times b2 minus b1. So what we get is z1 is equal to minus 2 plus minus 3j, and z2 is equal to minus 4 plus 1j. So our a's and b values are, are given below. a1 is equal to minus 2, a2 is equal to minus 4, b1 is equal to minus 3, and b2 is equal to 1. So what that gives us is z1 minus z2 is equal to minus 4 minus minus 3 plus j times 1 minus minus 3, which gives us minus 2 plus 4j. 
Okay, so that's the end of today's lessons. And uh, so what's next for you? Well, check out the sample problems for any additional practice that you may need. And if you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and as always, help grow this community by liking and sharing these videos if they helped you out and if you enjoyed them. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.